Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to talk about something that's major in the auto loan industry. This could be bigger uh, than, uh, you know, the Santander, uh, you know, settlement. And this is uh, the fact that they just, uh, that Credit Acceptance uh, Corporation um, has now settled a $27 million lawsuit, um, or a settlement I should say, um, you know, but... This isn't nationwide. This is just in Massachusetts, okay? So let's go ahead and go straight into it. So for those who don't know, Credit Acceptance Corporation, also known as CAC, um, is an auto lending corporation, much like Santander. The difference is there's been plenty of times where, of course, me being in the auto industry for those six years, where people could not get approved with every bank, right? But with Credit Acceptance, um, in many cases, there were ways to get a person approved, essentially, depending on the type of car. Um, interest rates is one of the biggest things that people always talk about, right? Um, let's be honest. People have an idea of what the interest rates are at the time that they do take the car. They just don't think about how much it's going to cost them over the long term. Um, and, you know, of course, uh, it only makes sense to get into a, a situation like that if you're, I won't necessarily necessarily say desperate, but if you don't, if no one's approving you, what other choice do you have, right? Wait, build your credit. That's an option. But some people, you know, they're in a situation where they absolutely need a car, not just want one. They could have gotten their car total. The insurance company could have taken care of everything, but they were not in the best financial position to get the next car. I'm not giving financial advice. But, of course, in a situation like that, a person can have kids, they got to get to work, you know, yada, yada. Yes, you have Uber, but let's be honest, you know, Uber's not the cheapest thing around, right? Either way, um, they have the settlement. And, um, you know, one of the biggest complaints were the fact that, uh, that many states, well, in this particular example, Massachusetts has a max interest rate cap at 21%. On average, Credit acceptance was doing 23.9, 24.9. So that's number one. Number two, um, when people didn't pay or they missed their payments, which by the way, sidebar, if a person misses their payment or something like that, that has nothing to do with the lender. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, obviously they're going to be late on that payment. Now, the difference could be if the interest rate was at 21%, obviously it's a little bit lower of a payment. So the question is, could they have made that payment, right? But that's neither here nor there. And um, they said that they didn't like their collection practices, right? And of course, because they're trying to get paid, that instead of coming get, to get in the car, you know, here's the deal. Me coming not necessarily just from the auto industry, I've seen situations where people just didn't have options. So it's either you get approved or don't get approved. Now, granted, getting approved is better than nothing at all. But at the same time, you now have to take it upon yourself to refinance that auto loan. You have to take it upon yourself to take maybe take out a personal loan and swap the loans out if you're in a better interest rate position. OK, I'm not blaming the client. I'm just saying that, you know, again, you have to understand the position that you're in and the timing. It's not that you can't someone can just do anything to you. But as long as everything is laid out in front of you and you say, all right, I'll take it, you know. But what sucks is, is this, for example, if because like most of the deals that they have is going to come with a warranty. So if it has that warranty, um, you know, that doesn't mean that the warranty is going to cover everything, obviously, just like any other warranty. And by the way, sidebar, I'm sure you guys be getting blown up from all these warranty companies. If you know a way to stop that, let me know. But either way, um, I do think that, uh, you know, of course, not all the blame is on either side because everything's out in front of them. And it says, OK, does this make sense to you? And then like, well, based on my situation, I got to do it right. You know, but it's when things don't work for them. For example, if there's a warranty that comes for your car, you say it's going to cover something. Don't give me a hard time when it's time for me to reap the benefits of that. Right. Don't give me a hard time when I say, hey, is this the interest rate? And that's just what it is. Take your time and kind of shop around. But at least, you know what the worst case scenario is at that particular dealership. So take your time on that. All right. So let's talk about how this is going to all affect everything, because last time we had a major auto lender lawsuit uh, settlement, I should say, was Santander. And people started to actually uh, recoup the benefits from that. But over 3000 people are eligible in Massachusetts. Wait till this spreads to different states, okay? Because credit acceptance is huge and they are um, a publicly traded company, all right, out of Michigan, all right? So either way, 3,000 uh, people uh, should qualify based on the terms of the settlement. This was just announced on yesterday, by the way, okay? So of course, 
if you want to find out <laughs> if you are a part of that, obviously just reach out to your attorney general in the state of Massachusetts. But if you're not in Massachusetts, right, all you have to do is reach out to your local attorney general and say, hey, listen, no, we have the same issue, right? I'm not trying to start anything, but obviously, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm not the bank, you know, so, but if they're doing things that they should not be doing, right, along with doing things that they should be doing, that's when things get overlooked because it's up to the consumers to reach out and complain, okay? Now, you can't, um, you know, obviously you have to take some responsibility if you, you know, have the monthly payment and things of that sort. There is some adult responsibility there. But at the same time, you know, again, if there's a mis you know, if there's like um, uh, an agreement that you have on a contract and then for whatever reason things are changing, that's when it's going to be an issue. OK, but keep in mind, it's not just credit acceptance. Um, you know, they just talked about Exeter Finance doing a settlement as well, too. So all of these things are starting to slowly pop up because people are starting to make these complaints and they are being reimbursed. OK, some people are being reimbursed for their interest that they've paid. So you just got to find out what that's going to end up being for you. But listen, Massachusetts is small compared to like where I live, like Illinois. Illinois, California, that type of stuff will bankrupt the company. Okay. So again, uh, keep an eye on that, um, you know, and then, you know, find out, you know, if you're going to be on that list. But as of right now, it's only in the state of Massachusetts. If you feel that your state should, you know, to start the same thing, then you're going to have to start that process, uh, have that conversation with your attorney general. But I mean, these are basic things that I know for a fact. Um, are still happening uh, in different states for sure. Uh, but again, I don't know the state cap. I didn't know states could cap an interest rate. So that's new to me, right? So, but either way, um, if it's something that you want to have in your state, you may have to follow those guidelines or at least reach out to uh, the attorney general in Massachusetts to try to find out how you could potentially start that same process in your state. Um, it's sad to see it uh, because again, when I was representing uh, the dealership I was working at, we had credit acceptance as an option. And um, there were people who honestly benefit, benefited from that and transitioned to a better car, better terms a couple of years later. These are not long term um, you know, uh, deals here, guys. I know some people say, well, I'm going to you know, uh, drive this car to the wheels falls off. Perfect, but just make sure that those terms are not the same until the wheels fall off. Okay, you can change your terms, you can change your contract. Mortgage companies do it for you sometimes, right? You know, so obviously this is auto loans, but in the, in the mortgage game, they'll just say, ah, we sold your mortgage to someone else. I'll do a video on that because that's a secondary mortgage market, and that happens all the time. Nothing you can do about it. But in the auto loan industry, they got your signature on a high interest rate loan. They're not going to tell you how to get a lower payment or how to go to one of their competitors. They're going to lock. They're going to make sure that you think that you're locked in through the entire process. That's not a credit acceptance thing. That's any auto lender that's getting um, a certain type of interest rate, guys. So that's the news in the auto industry for today. If you like this video, like it. You want to share it, share it. And as always, be sure to subscribe as we have nothing but great content on the way. Thank you all so much. Have a great day.